it's it's an online attack, meaning that once the JavaScript code executes in the browser, it can run. But the moment you close the browser, the attack goes away, right? Because if there's no browser, there's no code, and the problem goes away. Um, all of a sudden, now you're running OAuth flows in frontends. Uh, they're public clients. They don't have client authentication to the to your uh, authorization server. And one of the attack factors that the attacker can execute is running a silent flow in an iframe which is a very common pattern. Like every OAuth library that you find for frontends does this by default, all, almost all of them. And the attacker can now do exactly the same. And that means that the attacker can complete a full flow, um, a full OAuth flow, obtain tokens, an access token and a refresh token, and then exfiltrate those tokens to a server they control. And all of a sudden, the attacker has executed an attack that gives them tokens in the name of the user to access whatever servers that the frontend is accessing in a non-online way, as in, even if the user closes their browser, goes away, the attacker still has these tokens and can still use them for as long as they're valid, which can be up to hours or days or even longer, depending on the application. 